What's cracking guys, last pixel here and today we'll be continuing Rome Total War on mobile. For those of you who have not seen the previous part, as always, I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Imperator. March. Just to quickly recap the situation from the last part, we managed to drive off the barbarians from Massilia with this army right here. General. As you guys can see, we managed to lower their numbers by quite a lot, at least in this region. So, the plan of action will be to try to take Orders. the fight over to them. Prepare for battle. The goal right here will be to try to take that settlement over there yes. and uh, keep working on those trade agreements. Like we mentioned in the last part. No more moves. Alright, looks like the Brits are offering Alliance and Muppet formation. I'm gonna try to sweeten up the deal for us guys and uh, demand some um, denarii so that we can help the situation with the treasury a bit. I'm probably gonna go overboard with the money that we request from them. Just because, well, they're coming to us with those terms and uh, not the other way around. Hey, awesome, they accepted. That will give us a bit more resources to work on our armies and uh, to build a building or two. Okay, so we have another mission from the Senate to bl blockade the port. Um, and we're doing good with the treasury. Uh, oh. Eruption at Etna. I definitely want to check this out. Oh wow, look at that go, guys. Damn. Okay, I think the Skippy I are gonna have to deal with that. We've got volcanoes in here guys. Um, for those of you who have not played Rome Total War before, General. there are those kinds of uh, historical events that happen from time to time. So we're gonna move our spy a bit more service. closer to the center Secrecy so that we can monitor assured. the situation with these two settlements. We really don't need the barbarians Noble catching us by surprise and, uh, you know, lowering our pants, if you know what I mean. Orders. Besieging settlement, sir! Settlement under siege, sir! Alright, now that we have the settlement under siege, I'm gonna probably Ready pull to back sail. our fleet. Just because I don't really wanna yes, um, I don't really wanna spark a war with the Spanish. Or at least just yet. I guess that this is a good place to invest the resources that we managed to acquire uh, from our recent agreement. This looks like a decent place where we can end the turn, so let's do that.
Oh, all right, we're under attack by the ghosts. Looks like uh, from the army composition that we have that uh, they're trying to alleviate the siege from that settlement. The good news is that we have enough men to crush them, so let's do this. The hair has been gutted and the liver was as clear as day. Portents such as this can only be considered good. These goals do not need your fear. Cold steel will bring them down just like any other men. Here we stand. Here we wait. Let them come to us. These people have yet to taste victory at my expense. Today will be no different. So lay into them with a will. Now, take up the sword. String your bow. Look to your arms and armor. Now comes the hour when we test Roman courage! Units! Await my orders! Alright guys, I managed to discover something that I want to show you. Uh, there's a particular setting that you can change for the camera tilt so that you can immerse yourself more into the battle and just uh, gain another perspective on things. You're gonna see what I mean in just a second. Enforcements in a pathetic attempt to save themselves. As you guys can see, we're down to the perspective of the soldiers that we're currently leading. So this is pretty cool in my opinion. It definitely gives you a nice um, fresh perspective on the battles that you, you can lead. Um, you can enable that into your game by going by swiping three fingers up which will bring you to settings, then you go into options and then change the camera manual camera tilt to whatever you, uh, you need. So uh, props to Faro Interactive for adding that in because it's, it's pretty nice. It, it, it's crazy how much you can tilt the camera over. The only downside to all of that is that the camera is getting a bit harder to control. That's probably the reason why I'm not using it that much. However, look at it guys. It gives you the ability to have such cinematic shots that it makes you appreciate the game even more. Units forward! Just because I'm pretty confident that we can win this engagement, I'm probably gonna play with it so that I can show it to you. As you guessed it already guys, we're holding that hill just because it's a strategic position for our skirmishers so that we can uh, shoot them from far and let the enemy tire out before engaging it.
You're goddamn right. Alright, so the skirmishers are going to lose formation, but that's not gonna really help them a lot. Total War that shit is about to go down if the music changes. They're being attacked! Now that we managed to pin down those two war bands, we're gonna unleash the cavalry on those skirmishers. Alright, we managed to rout them. So let's turn back the cavalry and just help out the infantry. The enemy general flees! Press forward so the spirit of his army is broken too! The enemy army is in flight! Pursue them and drive them from the battlefield! Alright, so that's one of the armies gone. We should probably just get back to our position and uh, hold until the second army arrives. Attack! Of course, like any good Roman will do, We'll chase down the routing units with the cavalry. Their doom approaches. Okay, I think that this is enough, and uh, most probably we're gonna just pull back the cavalry because we don't need to tire them. Get back into position, please. Move out! It looks like our archer unit still has ammunition, so... Let's go. Fire on them, boys!
These hearts are full of fear and now they flee! Alright, we managed to route these goals as well. So let's chase it down. Destroy them! Attack! We won't be able to catch their general, but we're gonna leave them without an army. Is a heroic victory worthy of Roman arms. All right, guys, that's another victory for us. And we managed to leave only seven guys alive from them. Victory! Which counts the general and the bodyguards. So, I think that we got the settlement pretty much. Without anyone to defend it. Victory! Settlement captured! Yeah, alright. We've got the settlement, so we're gonna exterminate the populace just to be sure that it doesn't rebel against us. Alright, the only thing that worries me is that full Gallic army right here. Let's check if there's any mercenaries that we can hire just to help with the defense because Imperator. I'm almost certain that, that they're gonna attack us. Imperator. Unfortunately, we don't have anyone to hire so we're pretty much on our own. Alright, the treasury is doing good for now. It looks like we can retrain our skirmishes, so I might as well do that. Most probably we're not gonna have enough time to build anything in the settlement but I might as well just queue the barracks because we're gonna need to retrain uh, the units that are stationed in inside the settlement and uh, to recruit some new units. We might as well just add another unit of town watch just uh, just to help with the defense.
from what I can see we have a barbarian shrine currently so we might as well just destroy that because we don't actually need it I'm not sure if I should be queuing all those buildings because that's gonna hog up the resources that we currently have. Yeah, it might be better if we just build them after we've dealt with the army that's approaching the settlement. Wow, alright, we have some uh, rebels that are actually hurting our economy, so I might as well just deal with them right now. Engage the enemy! these rebel slaves. They are only slaves and will die as easily as cattle. There is no shame in fear. There is only shame in letting fear rule you. Try not to look scared and you'll find bravery in your heart. Okay, I might just turn off the camera tilt because we're not gonna need it anymore. And because that will allow me to control the army better. Has started, has started! Town watch! General! Forward! Units! Units! Has started! Hold! Units! Units! Guard position! So where are these guys? Let's see. Um, they're most probably on a hill or something like that. Or okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna move my guys over here and just speed up things because that's a lot of ground to cover. Alright guys, we're gonna use the military maxim, divide and conquer. First of all, we're gonna deal with the skirmisher unit, and after that, we're gonna deal with the Hestari unit. Let's try to run them down. I really hope that the Hastari don't throw the fillet at, at my general because this will be devastating. Fire! 
Okay, let's try to dodge the pile that we're gonna throw and uh, just keep our general safe as much as possible. Alright, we managed to dodge the first volley. Oh, come on guys, please don't engage with my cavalry, come on. Get, get away from me. Let's not forget that our Hastati still have Pile, so we can throw something at the enemy uh, when they decide to approach us. No, I'm not gonna let you harass my men. Well, here comes the second bullet. Probably here's the third one. One. Yeah. Okay, we didn't lose that much, so we're good. Hastari. 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 Units, attack! Hastari. Town watch. Attack! General, move out! General! managed to waste our cavalry. This is gonna be harder than I expected. Oh come on guys, leave my cavalry alone. Just just leave me alone guys. Damn. Show their true virtue. They are not soldiers, only frightened rabbits running from our men. This is a heroic victory, worthy of Roman arms. <laughs> Whoa, finally. We managed to get another victory guys, those rebels did pack a punch, because of that we're gonna have to retrain everybody, but that's not really gonna cost a lot of money. Victory! Orders, move out! Thank you. 
I'm not really sure if we want to march on the enemy. Sir. Because we have an army here sitting, just guarding the border. Orders. But... I don't know. We, we, we can probably take them on, but... I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna take that chance for now. General. Maybe after a turn or two. We'll see. Yes. At once. Damn those sneaky bastards. We'll, we'll have to move our army. Uh, just in case they Forward. decide to march on the town. Onward! No more moves, sir. Sir. Your honor. No more moves, sir. Noble master. Your honor. No more moves, sir. Orders! March! General! Looks like there's no mercenaries in the region, so... I'm afraid that we can really send anything to help if they decide to lay siege on us. Let's see if they do. Oh yeah, of course. Of course that you're gonna besiege us. Now the treasure is going down by a lot. A full army is besieging us. This this will be one hell of a story. Oh wait, there's even more. It's not only the, the full army, it's an army and a half. Guys, I want to be honest with you, I know that this is a suicide mission. I know that we will most probably get wiped from the settlement, but I'm going to actually try to defend it. Your Honor. Imperator! Okay, let's move the army back to its original position Move out. because um, the goals have actually moved as well looks like we've got another full army over here so this is gonna be a challenge as well Sir. Let's try that again. Uh, let's try to propose to peace to them. Listen up, Galaxcom. This is your last warning. Accept or die. And they know that they have the upper hand, so... Your Screw honor. it. We're not gonna give up. We're gonna conquer every Galax settlement on the map. I think that this is a good place to end it, so 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you all in the next part. Peace.